The first primitive that you'll see in quantum computation is simply the ability to do digital logic on basis states. So we remember that for a single qubit, we had the not operation, which flipped the bits. And that was an X gate, or the other way to draw it was with this um, or symbol. OK, so that takes an input basis state and flips the label on it. We also had the exclusive or, which took two inputs. So we could have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. And the exclusive or just looked at the parity or whether one or the other of the bits were true, but not both. And this we could implement with our favorite two qubit gate, the C naught gate. So the C naught gate takes a, its input and flips the second qubit, the controlled qubit, uh, only if the first qubit was one. And finally, we have the AND, which is true only when both the input bits are 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And this is true, or this is 1, only if the two input bits are 1 and then 0 otherwise. And this is not a, another uh, non-reversible uh, operation. And in order to make it, the simplest way to make it reversible is to copy the inputs and then create a new um, bit in the, in the case of classical logic or in the quantum logic, create a new qubit to store the output. So we had x, y, and then a place to store the output. This is our um, work qubit from the last video. And we had this toffoli or control, control not gate. And it copies the input bits and puts the output in this last or this new qubit register. So now we need three qubits, um, one place to store the output. And um, depending on the complexity of the circuit, we might call this the work qubit because it kind of stores um, the some computation. Or if this was the end of it, we would call that the, the output register. And this is how we can do, because any Classical digital logic computation can be built up from, well, we really only need the NOT and the AND gate, and we can combine those into one NAND gate. And you'll see in, in a lot of quantum circuits, this Toffoli gate repeated, or multiply controlled gate repeated all over the circuit. And one reason for that is that uh, we can build up any computation a, cl a classical logic computation within a quantum circuit with just not an AND gates. So you'll see these gates um, appearing all over the place because uh, NAND gate is universal and so uh, the not and, and Toffoli gate are universal for dig performing digital logical computations within a quantum circuit. And we can see that um, these circuits will be able to perform computation in parallel or in superposition. So let's look at this Toffoli gate where we have the first register is in the one state 
and so that remains in the one state and then the second register is in uh, a superposition and so this controlled controlled not we've seen this Hadamard controlled not before as one that produces an entangled state like ignoring the one over root two for a moment so when we combine these two things together we get one zero zero plus one 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 so we've performed uh, two rows of the of this truth table this and truth table in superposition okay so these these logic gates work in in superposition and we create this sort of entanglement in which we have a linear combination of the 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 classical logic computation performed in parallel at this point if we measured we're going to get a random outcome and unless we're trying to create a random number generator that's not useful so this is not sufficient to perform uh, a interesting quantum computation but definitely these sorts of superpositions classical logic are necessary components of quantum circuits and we'll see them over and over again